Okay, so today we're going to be installing a rear view uh, camera. This one's actually a recording camera, uh, front and back. And basically what it consists of is your um, mirror. This, this piece right here. And the screen is from here to here. So it's a very large, uh, cam uh, very large camera. You have a recording uh, camera right there. You don't have to record if you don't want to. You have your buttons here. You have all your power and uh, micro USB um, button there. So you could hook everything up. This just covers your uh, standard mirror. And you have your uh, straps right there that go around your mirror. And uh, all it does is plug into your cigarette lighter. And then you got this little camera that you run from the rear by your license plate all the way back. This camera does not have uh, guidelines to uh, back into a parking space. Uh, it's just kind of a general camera. So if you're looking for one of those, you will have to get a different model or change out this camera on your own. Uh, because it does record if you decide to go with that option. But this is an easy camera to install without tapping into your reverse lights or anything. It just plugs right in there. Uh, right into the back of your camera and it is all touchscreen. So let's get into this install. So I believe this thing has some type of power supply already in it. Uh, maybe to save memory settings or something like that just in case it gets unplugged or you turn off your vehicle. So it might have a rechargeable battery. Um, because if you look here, I hold this button down where it says power. So you can see it shows the power uh, right there and stuff and it turns on so um, I believe that's for your video recording um, so when you turn off your car it dies uh, but your memory and everything stays there so that's a pretty cool feature so as you can see the first thing it does is pop up the screen and as you can see the screen size it's really big um, for what it is uh, better than having a little square on this side which is pretty cool um, to actually see the whole thing. It says low battery because, um, and then it turns off. But it it was actually uh, we actually plugged it in for about maybe five minutes, so maybe that charged charged it for a little bit. Um, so basically, you have your mic button here, you have your uh, power button here on and off, and then you have an OK button to accept things uh, as you're going through the menu. So it's pretty cool for the price um, under a hundred bucks. Can't go wrong. It's a good camera. Um, so as you can see, the camera comes off in two spots. Um, you have your harness that powers it and sends a video to the front um, display. And then you have the camera itself. So you can mount that separately. Uh, so I ran it in the general area that I'm going, which is the driver's side, only because once you fish it around the driver's side all the way through uh, the panels, you're going to go through these panels. Um, if you look up here, you get a big open spot, so that way um, you could uh, run the wire for the power to your cigarette lighter, which is right there. And then if you take out this little rubber insert, Right there, you're gonna see holes that open up to the bottom. So I fished this metal rod through it. Um, it's a flexible uh, metal spring-like material. So I fished that through so that way I could tape the power and pull it through. Um, and then what we're gonna do is make sure we run it along here, zip tie them together, run them up. And then at this point, you're going to zip tie the two wires together only because they're going to join right here. And then go all the way up to your mirror. So, let's get to it. Alright, so what we did here is um, basically put one zip tie and then I decided to use the electrical tape to electrical tape these two wires together. Only so that way when putting it up in this area all the way along there it sits flat as you can see the small zip tie has a little nub on top 
Um, I did put one up here to keep the two wires together. And then um, if you look back here, this is how you attach it. So it clips onto the mirror. And once it's onto the mirror, you pull these uh, rubberized strips down and then clip them underneath here. So. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is pop this panel off with the panel removal tool. Start right here, pull it just enough to pull this whole area down. Um, run this across the top, fish it right here, drop it down right here so that way it's closer to the door jam and uh, we don't have to cross anything back in here. So that way we could avoid the airbags that are in here. Run it down and then um, we already fished the power in here right there so we're just gonna run the power up here um, I didn't zip tie anything yet so that way the exit extra that's down here could be pulled this way and hidden in this area so that way the cigarette lighter could just plug in so there's gonna be a whole bunch of extra in this area down below this hole let's see if you can see that so down below here out of the way hidden um, that's where this that's where the extra power uh, line is going to be and then the rest of this is going to be pulled to the back um, as much as we can so that way we have um, the extra in the back and then we could adjust it from there okay so as you can see it's fished up in this area you don't see it anymore <laughs> comes down through there um, I just uh, picked this back with the screwdriver and slid my wires along there and kind of pushed them into this channel so that way the door jam don't crush them all the way through here stopped right here so this is the power cable that's going that way and then the camera cable that gives you the video comes back through here and as you can see I just peeled it away like that and then um, I taped the end that goes to the camera here. I taped it onto that snake. Uh, you could use a coat hanger if you um, if you don't have one of these, or you could use the welding sheath from your MIG welder, uh, where the wire goes in the center of this. You could use one of those. Same concept. And then the cord's gonna get pulled through. So I fished it to this side where it gets pulled through. Then we're gonna run it through here, um, out here, kind of pull it to the back. So that way I could fish it around, pull that panel off, fish it to the rest of the way through the back. So that's where I'm at right now. So as you can see, the wire comes up through that hole where this goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it right here and then drill a hole through the center so that way the cord could sit flush and it looks like it belongs there. So let me go cut that first and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what we did was we just drilled a hole through the center and sliced it. Don't worry about this gap. When you put it in, it's gonna come together. Um, so let's install it. You can see it cleans everything up in there. Okay, so when removing this clear film, that was on your thing. Be careful because this is just a sticker and it starts to peel. You're gonna have to take the nail and start peeling the edge. But what I notice is, if you look in this corner closely, you can see that there's another film layer right there. And you can see a slight bubble down here, so you're gonna have to uh, push that air bubble out. So when you take off the first layer of film, be careful because you might take off both when you start picking it with your nail. Just a tip. Okay, so since uh, we routed the, the cable to the backup camera a little bit different, uh, it, in the instructions it recommends that you route it through the headliner all the way around the top portion of it instead of down uh, by the floorboard. So we came up about four feet short because of the pillar uh, that we had to wrap around. So what I ended up doing was taking the camera in and uh, splicing the wire so that way we could extend it. And it consists of five wires. 
So basically I use these wire strippers here to cut the sheathing back. And then once I cut the sheathing uh, around it with the wire strippers, I used uh, a razor blade or a surgical blade. Um, and I cut the sheathing lengthwise here. And then I peeled uh, the five wires back and then I chopped it off so that way uh, just the wires are exposed. Um, and I made sure I cut it in the center so if you mess up on either end you still could cut back. If you cut it too close to the one side um, you got to make sure that you, you're spot on when splicing these together. So what I'm going to do is just solder um, wire to it and uh, basically lengthen it and then um, tape it all together once I solder it and then heat shrink each wire together and then heat shrink the whole wire loom together. Um, so if you decide that you want to go by the floorboard, make sure you have wire to splice this to extend it. And also I wanted to go by the floorboard, uh, route the wire anyway, um, below instead of above, only because there's airbags all along the side and um, I didn't want to pry on anything and uh, cause one of the airbags to malfunction or go off. As you can see um, on the front uh, pillar, there's actually an airbag right there that um, I had to wrap the wire, kind of route it around it. So just keep that in mind while you're routing this. So if you do, do decide to go uh, the headliner route, make sure that you don't set off any of the airbags while doing so. Okay, so you have these screws that take a Phillips. Um, they're like a screw slash rivet. And basically they hold this liner and your trunk in place. So as you can see, they just go into there. You just unscrew them out about three quarters of the way and then they just pull out. But as you can see, they're, they're all along this uh, area. All they do is cover up um, or they hold this headliner down. You want to take um, the liner off so that way you can run the rest of um, the cable. Um, so basically after I spliced it that gave us enough wire now to reach the back. Um, the last time we were talking about it when I routed it down here and then around the base and then up you're actually supposed to uh, route it from the headliner so the mirror's right here so you route it this way come all the way back this way 
and then drop in and go that way with it. Um, that's why it came up short on my end. And then the power you ran the same way how we ran it when we run it to the bottom. Um, so that's uh, something to think about when doing this. Uh, the company, I, I contacted them to see if they had an extension. And uh, they did have an extension and they're sending it to me. Uh, but it could take a couple weeks. But I already modified it so I don't have to wait for the extension. So it's pretty cool that they uh, end up sending it to me anyway. Uh, and I didn't even have to pay for it. So that's pretty cool on their part. So let's get to installing this, routing it, and uh, finishing this up. So in order to get the rest of this headliner off, there was this or, um, on the trunk headliner. There's this uh, little tab that says pull. All your, as you can see, there's like this little indentation. So you want to cam this up. And then there's two screws underneath it, which hold it in this area. So on the rear, it's on the right side. So that's what I was holding the rest of the headliner up. Okay, so at the bottom of here, there's a big empty space. And so we're gonna drill a hole here, put a grommet in, run the wire through. And then we're gonna put the camera in this area. We took off the mount for it. So as you can see, there's no mount. We put the screws back in and we'll put double-sided sticky tape on the top of this, stick it up to the top, and then uh, finish routing the wires, zip tying them, and then everything will begin. Uh, make sure you unplug it like that. So that way you can fish this in through first, the smaller end, uh, fish it around, fish it around, and then plug it in. So I'm going to use this uh, 3M 94 primer. Um, basically what you do is you crush this and um, this tip is like a, it's like a kind of stiff uh, foam tip and it gets wet uh, with the primer stuff. And then you just wipe it along the area that you're going to use the 3M tape uh, with and it'll make your 3M tape stick a lot better. All right guys, so here's where it's located. Right there. And then there's a grommet that I used after I drilled the hole. It was kind of hard because this thing angles uh, downward. So as you can see how it's kind of slopes, it's kind of um, hard to get the drill bit in there to drill a straight hole. So I use a center punch, cut everything straight as possible. Once I drilled it, then I put the grommet in, ran this with some double-sided sticky tape right there, as you can see. And it's not too bad. So this is the, um, the finished product. So, as you can see, it gives you a notification saying that there's no card there. Um, this is with the the rear camera on. So when I push the brakes, you can see the brakes kick on. When I put it in reverse, you can see that it brightens everything up. Let me see if it focuses. There you go. And then if I tap the screen, it goes to the front camera tap the screen again goes to the rear camera but as you can see in the top right hand corner it also still shows um, both cameras so that way you could have that option tap it again it splits them in half so you can see the front camera and the rear camera so this is the front camera and then you can see the red is the rear camera it's a lot cleaner than it shows right now only because the lighting so you could also hit this bottom button right here to turn it off. And then you got the regular mirror, the regular reverse mirror. And there's your rear view. That's it on. So it, it uh, keeps the preloaded setting that you last had it on when you turn it back on. So that's cool. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see videos like this and other videos I have, hit the subscribe button. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.